Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd do a quick video today just showcasing the um, Spellbinders Glimmer and Cut Value Club kit um, for December 22. Um, we're still in December, it's very close to Christmas, but I'm excited because this has nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> but I think that's why I get excited this time of year because I'm kind of coming to the end of like Christmassy stuff. And yes, I have a red jumper on. <laughs> it says happy holidays on it. It's cold here. Anyway, so I thought I would just share the unboxing. Yes, it got, <laughs> I kind of got a bit <laughs> happy when I was like trying to open the thing. So I've taken all the essential stuff out. I also realized that they've added a couple of freebies in there for us. Um, if you are a club member, um, which I thought was a really nice thing and I totally forgot that they do things like this. Um, but for being a club member, there's a couple of extra bits in there this month. So that's really nice. So thank you Spellbinders if you're watching <laughs> by some chance. So I'm just going to drag this out. It might be a bit noisy. So give me a second. So first of all, they give you a what's coming up um, and there are a couple of new club kits that are going to be or new clubs that are going to be um, launching so stay tuned for that I actually saw the email they sent me about these new clubs so if you want to check those out they're coming out soon I'm not sure exactly oh available from January 1st tells you on the card <laughs> and there's a stitching and a new 3d embossing folder kit so <laughs> I love 3d embossing folders so I may have to do a little rejigging and thinking about how that's going to work. Anyway, the freebies that I got were some of the Fun Stampers Journey, which is sort of like they they have the dies and then they and the glimmer and that, and then they have Fun Stampers Journey, which I think is more on the sort of um, cardstock and accessory kind of things. And um, this is the Easy Glide Permanent Adhesive Refillable. I like refillable things, and um, it's an adhesive tape runner so I'm excited about that um, I've never used it obviously but um, if I can get hold of the refillable I mean the, ref the refills then that's gonna solve some more problems I've been having with adhesive recently <laughs> so, so we'll see how that goes um, it feels quite heavy there's 49 feet in there um, I'm like about five foot so there's a lot more of me in, <laughs> in length in there that was a random thing to say. And then they've also sent some journey dots, which are 300 small permanent dot adhesives. So they're the little dot, um, like a glue dot kind of thing. Um, but this is obviously their their version. And I think you can, there's an easy way to get them out here. So we'll see. I love adhesives, so excited. So let's start with the glimmer. So the glimmer foil that you get this month is called where's the name blush so look at that that is a really pretty color and it is a, a more pinky tone for the metallic um, I will start using all the glimmers that I've all the foils and the plates um, once I um, get through Christmas because my I can't remember if I've said this before, but my Gemini's kind of dying out, and I heard somewhere they discontinued it anyway, so I don't know that, you know, I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, it's just, it's just not working anymore very well. Um, the plate warps, and yeah, it's just, oh, I get stressed just pulling the thing out. So <laughs> that's not in a bad way towards them, because I've loved that thing since I got it, but I'm just having some major issues at the moment with it. Um, so once um, Santa, aka my husband, <laughs> brings me a new, um, the Glimmer machine, hot foil machine, I will then showcase that and do a unboxing and everything for you guys. And then I can actually start using all of these good and proper. So that's the foil that you get in this month. Then these are the plates, the hot foil plates. So these are called floral framed glimmering heart and there's five hot foil plates and eight um, cutting dies so you have this main florally heart which is beautiful you also have this almost like a frame of a scallop 
and then a solid heart. So don't forget, like solid pieces like this, you can use on all your leftover foil. So if you've got space or like you've you foiled a background or something, and you've got all that pretty foil that is the essentially the waste, you can then use a, a solid plate like this and foil that pattern over and onto that shape. So hopefully I'll be able to showcase all these things and it'll make more sense, but I've seen that done and it's so pretty. Um, and then foiling wise you've got a couple of sentiments here and they say happy Valentine's Day and love you always and then we have I think this is a foiling one as well I'm not sure on this one whether it foils or it's a um, like a die that cuts into the paper um, I want to say this, this middle one is where it says sending hugs is the foiling part and then you've got the banner that actually cuts out around that and then there's a couple of little flowers and leaves and some more flowers and leaves and then the heart die that will cut out the heart foil and then the scallop that presumably will cut out the scallop there as well and on the back here's an idea of what you can do with that it's just so pretty they think of everything they really do I love it so that's the glimmer of the month and then the small die of the month is stitched heart card front I was just gonna go, I was just looking at it going what is that um, <laughs> but it tells you and there's seven dies in this so you have three banners that say love you uh, forever mine that's cute and hey sweetie, <laughs> that's cute too, um, and a matching die that will cut out around that um, sentiment. And then you have this outside sort of scallopy edge piece, um, and then there's an inner piece which has got all this detail, like fretwork I would call it, and then there's a, d a separate die that cuts out this heart that you can actually stitch um, if you've got all the threads and things that you you know, like a DMC thread, that kind of thing. So again, there's some ideas on the back of what you can do with them. But how pretty is that? Oh, I just love it. And also these pieces you can use separately, you know, just as layers on cards. So that's the small die of the month. And then the large die of the month is the Blooming Heart, which has 15, no, 13 uh, cutting dies in it. Look at it. <laughs> Um, there's a couple of words here, so the words say love and with, so with love. Um, there's a giant heart here. You could make a shaped card and an easel card out of this heart. It's a good size for that. Um, and then you can put whatever you like on it. But there's some sort of, looks like detailed roses here that also have their coordinating dies with them. Um, and then like a sort of two main bigger pieces that fit in the heart um, and I'll show you the back in a minute and then lots of layering pieces that presumably also go can go on the flowers and lots of little details they look like strawberries but I'm sure they're not strawberries <laughs> and then this is the sort of thing that you will create with all those different layers the things that look like strawberries were the centers of the flowers duh um, and then all those different pieces will layer to create these two sections that fit within that heart and then the with love but how beautiful and again you can use them separately amazing there's all the flowers amazing they think of everything like I said I just I love it and I'm so chuffed so chuffed I'm sure I've said this before that I can actually get this here in the UK now Woohoo! without having to um, spend a small fortune on a delivery. So thank you Spellbinders for doing that as for us <laughs> mere mortals. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this guys. Um, this was just a really quick, it came in now. So I thought, let's just do it. I'm on my lunch break, <laughs> why not? Let's just get this video done and um, stay tuned for more videos on this. Obviously this will form part of maybe a more love Valentine's themed series type thing that I might do coming in the new year but stay tuned for that I will showcase some of these and I will also be back with more on 
November's kit because I've barely begun to actually use that and showcase that. Um, I do have a Christmas card coming up using that November Spellbinders kit so stay tuned for that. But I will see you soon guys and uh, yeah bye for now and Merry Christmas. Mm-hmm. <laughs>